Today's video is a little bit different. It's gonna be little snippets through the day when I've got a chance to talk. Um, what time am I due out? I'm due out in 11 minutes, which gives me a bit of time to chat. So, what a week. This week has been absolute mental at work. If you're in the transport industry, you'll know yourself, there's been so many changes. Uh, we're now operating an enhanced Sunday timetable, which the management and supervisor staff at Waterloo put together. The road is fantastic. What they've managed to do for all drivers is something I've never seen before. And everyone in Tiger's come together to make sure that we're delivering a service which is the best we can do. Through the course of the pandemic and things deteriorating, bus services have took a massive hit. Coach companies are laying drivers off because they can't afford to keep them, they can't afford to pay them. Uh, there's a lot of friends of mine who are on unpaid leave. And when you've got a family and whatnot, it's it's horrible to think that there's people actually having to take unpaid leave at a time like this. The thing that gets me really realistically is for instance unpaid leave. Some people can't afford to go out and buy shopping for the next three, four months. And some, some people can, but just a lot of people can't. A lot of bus drivers live week to week because they get the wage slip weekly. So it's hard to put money away. I, I, I know that myself because I get paid weekly. It's times like this when bus drivers and coach drivers are coming together and I'm on quite a lot of pages online which they're advertising for, for people who have been laid off to, to join their team temporarily. So it, I think that's fantastic and well done to anyone who can offer that. Um, I'm on the bus 666. It's been in a few videos this and it's a good bus. The only thing I miss is someone's changed that thing up there. It used to say 666, then over it, the Iron Maiden. And then underneath it, Coffin. But the, it completely changed now, it just says 666. Someone did draw Satan twice, it's been scribbled out twice. And then they've written Evil. But it looks like Evie. So, they probably can't spell, but I'm assuming they wanted to say Evil. I've not posted for two weeks. And I'm fine, I've not had to self-isolate. A few people have messaged me and asked if I've, if I've been self-isolating. And no, I haven't, I've been fine. I've just been super busy. Levante pulling off. I'm so nosy, honestly, I'm so nosy. We went to Wales on holiday. It was meant to be a Monday to Friday break. We cut it short on Thursday because of all the stuff kicking off and we wanted to make sure that if anything did happen, we could get home. So it would gutter in to come home a day early. Because on the Friday was my kind of day I wanted to film quite a lot. We were planned to go to the, the Welsh town with the longest name. Is it Lam Fire Perfwin? Get of go, get of win. Go guy, get silly, go go go. Something like that. 35, I'll go over in a minute. What's that? Oh, 30 seconds. I've been at work since 9 o'clock and it's now 1.35. And all day. I have issued four tickets. I've had four people on bus, four people all day on the bus so far. So like I said, this video is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be just me talking in random bits where I can today. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. I am in Wakefield now. I'm just joining my phone up to GoPro so I can see if I look beautiful. So I am in Wakefield. Um, it has been a fairly busy run, to be honest. That I've done, I did 13 tickets on that and I took 1960. And genuinely, every single person on the bus paid cash. Cash. I've now got a cash tray with actual money in it. Coins, notes, and every, every person I spoke to, I said, any time you can pay contactless, no man. The main way the virus spreads on public transport is due to people not washing their hands, touching the contact points, uh, paying cash, the ticket machine, because this is an absolute bag of filth. The amount of people who touch this is unreal. So we're constantly wiping it down and doing his best to try and delay any, to try and get rid of any bacteria or viruses on there. I've never seen bus operators so bang on with cleaning. 
I just wish people understood this. Pay contactless. Pay contactless. It just limits the amount of contact we have. You think about it realistically, bus drivers play a massive part in transport. Obviously, so, so do train drivers and taxis and everything else. However, I'm focusing on bus drivers. Buses carry a lot of people around. They carry NHS workers, police, fire brigade. They carry everyone. Buses carry a variety of people, from emergency services to NHS staff. And to be fair, we need to keep healthy. Because if you think about it, if people go, oh, there's plenty of bus drivers, there won't be if no one looks after us. I think some people forget how important bus drivers are. Because without us sat behind a wheel, driving through this bloody pandemic, there'd be NHS staff who couldn't get to work, police who can't get to work. We are one of the interim emergency services, and I wish people would take that fucking seriously. Not just pissing about jumping on bus, going to town for a chinwag We your mates. It's not about that. We are here to get people to work who are key workers. And if you're not a key worker, or, or go into pharmacy or shopping, think about your journey. But saying that, I've got three minutes and I'm John Stanton. And Wakefield is the quietest I've ever seen it. This is unbelievable. I'll put a photo on Instagram so you can see how quiet it is. Check down below for me for my photo link. It's absolutely mental. But I'm on my return journey, so I'll see you when I'm there. I can't believe this, you know. Second day of like everything shutting. The weather is beautiful. God above. Why can't they send someone out to fix these potholes? Every road you go on. Outside the entrances, bus stands. Quiet, isn't it? Wow. Sit in my little den, I've med. So, I've never known anything like this. It's got my phone on charge, bloody hell. It's spent all day bloody on it editing videos and it's dead. But I put a thing on Facebook about my new work bag. Look at that, eh? It's mahoosive. I tell you what though, you can fit absolutely everything in. I've got my water bottle, I've got my little, like an antibacterial thing. Uh, ticket roll, duties, I've got a, ca a new camera set up. I posted a picture of this. Cash bag, uh, antibacterial wipes. Oh I got, oh, baby wipes. Gloves and weekly ticket rolls. Blooming. Got me links in it, me roll on toilet roll and hand, hand wash. See, to tell you the truth, I weren't looking for a new bag. I had that Stanley bag, a few people have mentioned that uh, in a few past videos, and that's fantastic. One of my favourite bags, that. Uh, but genuinely, I was struggling to carry everything around. Some days when I come to work, I have my gimbal, my, my GoPro case, that other setup, a tripod, and it was just. I was just lumbering so much crap about all day and it wouldn't fit. I having to strategically pack it all in that Stanley bag. It fit, but it just fit, if you know what I mean. Like a perfect game of Tetris, it just fit. But this is massive. There's plenty of room inside this bag. If you can't fit what you need in there, then you're, then you're packing too much stuff for work. And it was down from $12.99 to $9.99. Absolute bargain. So yeah, that's the story, how, how I got a new work bag. If you want a video on what's in my bag, then please let me know. And just really quickly. See, I don't know if you can see, that National Express has just came in and just gone straight out. There was some chap out there when I was filming who ran to the toilet. So I hope he's not missed his coach, because he's just come in and gone straight out. Bit cheeky that, isn't it? I didn't think this was going to be as big. I'm going to be honest, I, for the first few weeks I was like, oh, we ain't get us, we're hard up here. But genuinely, every single wall has got bits on the coronavirus. It's, it's that bad, it's genuinely. There's notices up saying uh, there's a special website for employees and it's got all the information regarding COVID-19. If it weren't serious, they wouldn't piss about doing stuff like that. I can assure you that. 
I'm getting pings and pongs from my phone. It is mental today. It's mental, but my head's not sweating. Normally I've got a sweaty head. I've got an itchy head. I need to shave it. I need to shave it. I've been bicking it, to be honest with you. I've always wanted to know what I look like with a proper bald head. So I bicked it, and you know what? It's all right, it's weird. But I quite like bicking it, because it feels like smooth as chuff. I'll be filming a lot more cab stuff over the next few days, obviously because it's quieter. The weather's beautiful as well. I can't stand filming and it being crap weather. The weather, at the minute, is absolutely stunning. So we're just gonna focus on that and get as much cracked out as we can. Um, I'm sorry if videos are seeming a bit backwards at the minute. You have to understand that I'm doing a hell of a lot. Um, I'm working here, I've got a family to look after, and as well in the midst of all this, I've got to make sure that we're all safe. So when I get home from work, the first thing I do is take all my uniform off, uh, boil wash it, and then jump in shower. But saying that, I've really got to go now, so I keep jabbering on. So I'll see you all very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this little cut together video. If you haven't, I'm so sorry. I wish I could do a big video to come back into this, but I can't, obviously, as you know. So I'll see you all very, very soon. Look after yourself, be kind, be courteous, and follow the NHS guidelines. So take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon.